Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back with a new video. Okay, a few things. Let's start. I have here the reconstituted um, <laughs> delight paper clay, the ultra light delight. That what that we all saw a few videos back. That was like big hard marshmallows. It is now completely reconstituted. No mold, all good, perfect. It's a little bit um, softer than I would use. So I probably, you know, then I would um, use a four. So what I'm gonna do is, now you can use this right now at this point as molding paste. Maybe we'll do that in a thing and leave it dry and see how it works out. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of push down what I can have pushed down there. And I have my heater on down here a little bit because my little dog's cold and now my kittens are cold and everybody's just in front of the heater. But you can see, very wet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave it open just while I'm down here for the day, just to get a little bit of air on there, just to dry out a little bit of that water. But maybe we'll use it as a molding paste on something and leave it dry and see how that works out with the light, the ultra light, because I've not done it. I've only done it with the regular paper clay. Now today, I've had a rough couple weeks, if not, actually it's been a few, mo a couple months, um, but the last couple weeks have been very rough with so much going on, uh, you know, doc just, just so much going on. So, I wanted to do an art journal page and I wanted to kind of show what I, what I do in you know, I'm not really, I, I, I like to art journal, but I'm not a dedicated art journaler. So I have like 3 million journal books and things I've done and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, it's not that I don't like doing it. I just, I like working bigger, but I'm so into doing these um, Halloween little monster -y things that today I thought, let me just show this, you know, I, I've, um, not been able to respond to a lot of um, the comments and emails that I've been getting. So I want to personally thank everybody um, from the bottom of my heart. You guys have really been awesome and you guys send me the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages. I am, I think, five, four or five people away from 900, which I'm going to be having another giveaway soon. Everybody let me know when you get the... Um, stuff that you won prior. Um, it got out a little bit later than I wanted, but um, you guys should be getting it soon. And we'll be having a new contest soon. Um, once I get past 900, I'm going to have another contest. So I have like a little stash put away of like things to give away. I like asking you guys what you want. So that we shall start. So for those of you who have um, art journals, now this happens to be a moleskin. If I can, oh my God, I thought I had it all straightened up. Apparently I didn't. This is a moleskin, one of my moleskins. I have quite a few. Um, and I have quite a few that I've made myself. And I will, if you guys want, I think I've gotten probably six or seven people asking for me to show how to make the art journals, how I make them. People make them all different ways. People do the binding, the copy binding, the, you know, they bind them a certain way. I'm very impatient. My hands don't, you know, I love to sew and I love to use my sewing machine. I love to knit. I love to do all that, but to sit with the needles and it doesn't look that hard. It's just, I get bored very easily and I get, um, you know, like sewing and I'm sure it's a really, really great way to do it. But the way I do it is different. Um, so I've gotten so many people wanting to see how I do it so they could, um, do it themselves. And this right here, um, is printer paper. This is my moleskin, but you can use, if you don't have the money to go buy, um, like a mixed media paper book, you know, like when you go to the AC Moore or Michael's use your coupon, go into their section, you can get mixed media paper. It comes like in a book, you know, and you can get many different sizes. Um, 
you can use printer paper, you know, which obviously isn't going to be as good as a better paper as a mixed media paper or watercolor paper. Um, you can use Bristol paper, you know, but you don't have to go all out. If you just have printer paper, which is very inexpensive, um, you can still make a journal page. And I'll go through, I'm going to make a journal page and show you guys. I don't recall if I showed you these, but this is another option. I got these at Joann's in the section, and maybe I showed you these already, and if I did, I'm sorry, my mind is all over the place. This is in the section at Joann's by the registers. They have those little bins for like a dollar or less or two dollars and less. Kind of like when you go to Michael's or AC Moore and they have like the bins of stuff you can get like for a dollar and you find like weird little trinkets and stuff. Well, they have these at Joann's. And I need to go back to get more of these. You can see I didn't even open these yet. Um, because I'm going to put these, I want to go get another set and then put these in my little bag that I take to doctor's appointments because that's all we do anymore is go to doctor's appointments, specialists, testing, <laughs> uh, procedures. That's all my life has become. And it just doesn't seem like it's going to leave up anytime soon. So I thought I'm going to go back and get more of these because I like these. They have a drawing artist pad, which is for sketching, drawing, and markers. So that's a great thing to have in there. And look how little, I mean, it's, you know, it's not, um, it's five by seven. So, I mean, how great to sit and sketch out something maybe you want to use for your art journal. They have an acrylic paint one, which is, um, for the, obviously acrylic, paint, acrylic, acrylic, metallic is on my mind, acrylic paint, um, which is great if you buy the, um, Markers that I've shown you with the paints in them. Um, I forget who made them, but I've shown them in another video that they come with actual paint in them. Or you can buy um, nowadays at the Michaels and all, but they're quite expensive, so I wouldn't quite suggest it. Or the Mo Montana or, you know, even Sharpies or whatever, but... You know, you don't even have to use it for acrylic paint. You can still use it to draw on. So if they don't have a drawing one and they only have acrylic paint, buy it and use it just to draw on or water, you know, whatever you want. This is for pastels, which I bought for obviously to use with pastels. I have pan pastels and I have all kinds of uh, pastel, you know, blocks and cream and all, all that kind of stuff. So I bought that. And then they have canvas paper which you can use with oil and acrylics. So if you're using your oil um, paint, you can use these. If you want to do a smaller kind of thing, as you can see here, the face, or if you want to use your oil pastels or whatever, you can use, you can use, it's just a canvas. So these are great. They were a dollar a piece and I could kick myself in the head for not picking up double, but you know, when you're at the register and you've already like overspent your, <laughs> quota on fabric and everything else and you get up there and you're like ah oh. and it's like you know four bucks and you're like you know what's four bucks but then you think oh should I pick up two and then that's eight bucks and then there's tag and then I had to put you know so the drawing has 40 pages the acrylic paint has 15 the artist uh, pad for pastels has 10 and the canvas paper has 18. So these are great to carry. And like I said, I'm going to, um, I hate to open these yet because I want to make sure I can get them again, but I, that's me. I hoard everything. Um, but these are for my little um, carrying bag for when I'm doing my art and I have my stuff that I carry with me. Plus, um, I mean, a dollar a piece, you can't go wrong. And if you don't have an art journal or the extra money, but you go to Joann's and you get these, um, you have your own little journals here. You can make them into journals. So, you know, your little journals to do all the stuff that we do. So that's another thing. Um, so I don't know if I showed you that before or not. Now, with having all the stress that I've been having, um, and I'm not going to... One of the things I like to do, and I'm not going to so much um, write down my feelings right now on here, so I, sharing with everybody, but I'm going to kind of show you what I like to do. I chose this page because it's like a leftover page where I kind of threw extra paint with my brush and all, and it's leftover, and I'm going to like cover it over. Um, so you don't have to do that. You can use, you know, regular um, clean, you know, 
paper in your journal or whatever you're using. Um, I started on my blog, knittingandthings.com today, Tuesday tips and techniques. And every Tuesday I'm going to give you a tip and a technique um, on all kinds of art and craft um, things. And today's war was... Um, when you're using your journal or anything like this, always have, this is just printer paper, always have your paper in between so you don't ruin the page behind you that you already did. Or if you just pick a page and it's clean and a page, a scrap page that's there so you still have your clean. You can see mine came through a little bit from the other side. So that way you don't get you know, ink or paint or whatever to the other pages that are around it. A lot of people don't know that or they don't think it's important. And sometimes I forget and I don't think it's that important until after I do something and it ruined my page before. And then I get infuriated with myself because I say, you should know better. I get lazy. So now I just kind of keep these two pieces of paper in here and they're always here. So it always reminds me because they're sticking out floppily to do this. Okay, now this is something to do um, with if you're having a bad day, if something happened, if you are not feeling well, if you're over, um, if, if your anxiety and your panic or depression or uh, chronic illnesses are kicking in. Um, like I said, or just just a normal bad day, just a, a day that like you're like waiting for it to end. This is something that I love to do. And it's, I call it writing therapy. I'm sure it has a really fancy name and I'm sure a million people do this, but I thought I'd share with you guys. So, you know, um, one of the things that I start doing is like I said, you pick, you know, you set yourself up and you start writing the things um, that bother you. Um, this is one of the ways I get rid of the negativity. Uh, I'll explain to you another way I do it too, but, um, it has nothing to do with art journaling, but, um, so, you know, you sit and you write, you know, um, how do you say, uh, how I'm going to write stuff, but I don't want to write anything. I'll just do this. I'll just do like family issues. Um, I want peace. I want holidays to be good. Um, you can write down something that happened to you. Um, have to think of a reply. You know, you, you write down as deep and serious and write it out. Write it out because you're getting it out of your soul. Because what happens is we keep all this anger and negativity and everything in our soul inside of us. And it just comes out in ways that just aren't necessary. I have a lot going on in my life right now. Um, some personal things also, and, um, I don't have the patience or the time to fight about any of it. I could care less about it. Um, and I just, I'm going to move on with, you know, move on with my life the best that I can. And, um, deal with, you know, family issues or whatever, whatever happens to be going on in a very, um, positive way. And the only way to do that is to let things go and move on and things fall into place the way they do. I can't make, uh, things, you know, be the way I want them to be, um, with when it concerns other people. Um, so, and I'm sure you all have that in your life when it comes to family or, um, whatever, you know, maybe something your kids did that day, maybe a neighbor, maybe somebody cut you off while you were driving, blah, blah. You know, I mean, we can go on and on, you know, um, I want to be pain free because I, the pain has been fierce. I want my jaw. I want the RA to leave my jaw and give me a relief. And like I said, you know, just continue on, continue on. I can, I can go on and on and on and it doesn't, you know, it all pertains to what's important to you that day. What hit you the wrong way, whether you woke up and the dog crapped on the floor, 
um, you know, whether you, you woke up and, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm one of them people who are not a morning person and my husband wakes me up basically the same time every day, whether I sleep all night or not. Sometimes I really just ugh, get so mad and I, I'm a, like I walk into walls and door, like I'm so clumsy sometimes. I'm always smashing my feet. Everything hurts to sit down and take a pee in the morning is wicked. Sometimes <laughs> the pain. So, I mean, it can be anything. It could be that the dogs, your neighbor's dogs barked all night. It could be something that happened in your family, like I said, or something to do with your illness or um, a situation that happened to you, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, if you do not have waterproof um, markers, now you see I used water, uh, the Faber-Castell pit pen, um, which it might not be dry all the way because they need to be like really dry in order not to smear. Um, use a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, use a crayon or a colored pencil, or if you don't care that it smears, use whatever marker you have. A Sharpie doesn't, you know, smear. They're all permanent. And then what I do is I pick whatever colors I'm feeling that day. So let me move just in just a bit because my camera, I kind of got weird up here, all up in here. All right, that's not going to do anything. Okay, so then what I do is I decide, like, okay, what am I going to use? Am I going to use watercolors? Am I going to use acrylics? Am I going to use both? Am I going to use markers? Am I going to use whatever? Well, today, you know, we always go light to dark when we're doing. So I'm just going to start with a very um, pink pearl, it's called. And it's just a, a little acrylic paint by Ceramicoot. I always tend to, um, when I want happiness... And I'm just going to do little ploops. <laughs> That's a fancy term. Ploop, ploop, ploop. Um, and what this is doing, and what you're going to do, now if you want, you can add a little bit of water, a little bit of gesso if you want. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. And what you're going to do is you're going to start covering over. And you can see this is pearl because it's just giving the base color, the, like the coat if that makes sense to you. It's not really covering all those words yet. But just go over it. And what we're doing with this, and what I always say when I'm doing is with this, is please just, I'm just sending it to the universe. Or whatever you believe in. If you believe in God, or, um, you know, whatever your belief system is. Just sending it off, turning that negative into a positive, something good. And it doesn't mean that you have to do this fantastic um, page, journal page. It's just that you get your feelings out and you write them and you, you know, you, you get them out of that, out of that negative space that's in, that you have in you that they're taking over because we all have it. And sometimes you can go through a day of all kinds of stuff and it's one little thing, one little thing that just tips you off that on another day you might have laughed at or just thought, geez, oh, peace. But sometimes it's something so little because you have everything stored up in you. So this is a great way to get rid of it. And like I said, if you don't have a journal, take a piece of, of uh, printer paper and a marker. And if you don't have, you know, if you have watercolors, use your watercolors, use colored pencils, whatever. The point is you're covering up. And I'm just drawing, giving this a little dry. And then I'm going to start with my next color, which is aqua. And I'm just going to do the same little... Now this is, let me just explain, this is Artist Pigment. And if you've ever noticed um, these brands, the acrylic paints, craft paints, there's folk art and ceramic coat and all those kind of things. Some have artist pigments and then some have the acrylic paint. Where this is more pigmented and it doesn't have as much spreadability as they say or as, as transparent. And you really got to shake it good. As you can see, I'm shaking it and like all the extra stuff's coming out. But I don't care. Still getting color on it. And we'll start there and see what it does. But do you see the color, like how different it gets? It's just a deeper color with less fillers in it, as they say. And I like them. I have quite a bit of them. I like to buy them in 
uh, colors, like colors that I do love because I do have the regular um, aqua also. Over here you can see some of the stuff came out, some of the liquid ickies. Because I didn't mix it, I didn't shake it enough. And you can see we're starting to build up that color. Now I'm going to put a little bit more here and here. And kind of just, because you'll see what we're going to do. And I'm just going to bring it down, do it over here. And you see how that paper that you have behind your journal is just. You know, imagine if it was, it would make the paper stick, your pages underneath stick together. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water. Or what did I make here? I made spray paint here. I think it's with blue. Remember I used uh, acrylic paint with some water a few videos back. Is it? <laughs> it's not alcohol, so that's a good thing. Usually I'm spraying alcohol. I think it's just a, yeah, it's a blue spray. So I'm going to wet that and then we're going to bring that down and then I'm going to put my brush in my water to rinse that off. But in the meantime, I'm going to take an old toilet paper, paper towel, keep drying it off after, after, because it's going to soak up. Can you see how it's soaking up the underneath? I know I have a bit of a shine. If this, if you're doing this and it's not working, now something you can do, and it's, you know, after you do that, you can take and then put the circles on another page rather than putting them, in, I'm putting them on a napkin. But you can definitely do that. Or, as you can see, I'm just taking them all over the page. So I'm lifting up here. And it's a little bit wetter than maybe you want, but it just adds texture. We just want something pretty. All right. And I just set this aside and it'll dry and then on to the next, you know, when I use my, for my next project. Now I'm going to blow. But you know what I might do? I might do this. I might just take my napkin and just lightly lay it down to just absorb some of the extra water. And you can see where that water was extra. Just very lightly. And if you want to push a little bit harder, go ahead. You can see here how I got a nice glare going. How it lifts up some of the pink. Can you see? So you see some of the pink underneath, which is really cool. And that's over here too. And I will zoom in. And you're getting the, the um, texture from the paper towel, which I love. Which I'll go to the other page and then just lightly. And then look at that texture. Let me bring you in and show you. Can you see the texture? That's from a paper towel. How cool. Very cool. And now we shall go back. Okay. So then once you have, you know, the, as much of the moisture up as you want, then I would go back with the heat gun. And you can go back in with your circles if you want. Now that's a little bit drier. I'm heavy handed with water. And I'm just going to give it a quick dry. Oh, 
honey. Mommy's, I know. My dog is so jealous. Spider James. Okay. Now let's do something fun. I'm going to take my big number thing. And I'm just going to lay it down. Like I said, we're not going to do a picture or anything fancy schmancy. I'm going to shake my purple. Or do I want to get a spray? Hmm. Maybe I'll grab a spray. I'm not going to off. Nobody want to hear that. Well, what color do I want? Hmm. Black and pink. Black and pink. All right, so I grabbed some sprays. Now, you don't have to use sprays. You can use a paintbrush, any kind of paintbrush that you have. This is a, uh, I call it a bouncer, but it's called something, a scruffy brush. Or a, um, you can use a stencil brush or any kind of brush that you have. I use any kind of brush that's just sitting here. And you can put your paint down on your palette or your pad, you know, your um, unstick, you know, your thing doesn't stick. And then um, use it like that and pounce into the paint and then pounce onto here and it'll do the same thing. Let me do it just to show you. So let me grab this. But because I'm on... All you do is you put it on a little, you know, you squeeze a little bit onto a palette and then take whatever kind of brush you have and just kind of pounce it like that and then pounce it off so it's not so um, wet. You want to hold this down and go to town. And you can do it. And then when I lift this up, I'm going to try to hold it in place, but you see, it does the same exact thing. So, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to spray today. So first I'm going to use a pink bubblegum spray. And I'm just going to spray it on. And then I'm going to take a little bit of black. To kind of add in there. And then lift it up and see what we got. Look how cool. Very, very cool. Now we have all this on here. What shall we do with it? Well, what I say is grab, always be prepared. Don't be like me. I'm never prepared. I'm going to take it and I'm going to lay it on another piece of paper. This is just a piece of card, uh, card stock. And because my room is limited here on my desk, I'm just going to push it down so it gets on here. And now you see, this is what I get. And that's a great piece to start with another mixed media piece. And I can even get another uh, print out of that. But for now, I'm not going to worry about it. So look how cool it looks. And then just dry it. Now, if you don't have, you can get those letter things at the dollar store. You can find them at um, AC Moore, Michaels, uh, in the like drawing section where they have their pencils and markers, and um, not the Tim Holtz section, but it's like where the paint is, and it has like you can get your paint brushes and that kind of thing, and you can get like a three pack of them for like five ninety nine, six ninety nine. You use your coupon. I got these ones at Staples or Office Depot, one of the two. I can't recall right the second. And they have three different sizes in it. But like I said, I do have 
one that I got at the dollar store, one or two actually, that are big like this, that I've used for years. And they're fun and they're extra, and you don't have to use all the letters. This just happened to fit on here. dry it and look you turned a bad you know bad experiences a bad day negativity whatever you're dealing with you wrote it out we covered it with something and we made something beautiful that it didn't have to take because sometimes when you're in a bad mood you don't want to take all day and do art but this is the be the great thing about art journaling is it can be done anywhere on anything with anything. If you don't have the letters, um, use use your marker. Use your marker and draw. Use a stamp if you have a stamp and do that. Um, a lot of fun, great things you can do. And like I said, this makes it, um, you know, when you open it, it just, it, it's happy colors. You covered up all that negativity. You can walk away with your soul cleansed, your soul clean, and just move on. Um, and that's really what I love my channel being about with us all suffering in life, whether it's with chronic illnesses or anxiety, panic dis uh, disorder, or um, just crappy things that happen to normal people. I mean, it's just, you know, all of us have bad days, you know? And if you want to and you want to be even fancier, you can go in and you can you know, use different color markers or whatever and trace the letters if you want to continue going on, you know, whatever you want to do. Now, that's that. And then what I do is I'll just set this aside to dry and then in about an hour or so, I'll take my little, see how it sticks a little bit? And because I had that so wet up there, it did run through a little bit the page, but I don't care. I don't care because I had a lot of water on it. But, uh, and then these will dry and then I will, um, save them and use them for the next time. But it's so funny to look at them and you see the paper and like where I use it at all the time. <laughs> Cause all of this would have ended up all over my desk, all over my pay, you know, all over me. Um, so that's with that. Now let me tell you my little tip of what else I do. I do it. I love it. I have to start getting back to doing it a little bit more. Because um, I'm just, let's lay that there on the floor and hope that the dog decides she doesn't want to go lay on it. What else? I was going to do one more thing. One second. Another thing that I do is I, this has nothing to do with what I'm going to tell you. I'm just putting this down to get the rest of this ink on. I, um, write down on a piece of paper. I have a, I have a composition notebook. You can get at the dollar store, you know, just a regular notebook. Um, ah, don't you love it? Um, and what I do is I write down the things that are bothering me, things that have happened, things I want resolved, negative things. And what I like to do, and I have not done this in a while because things have just been crappy, but I have to start because I live this life, this type of lifestyle of um, believing a certain way. And when my son passed, um, it kind of made me question so much. But anyway, not to get too much into that. But whatever, um, what I do is, I, so I take a piece of paper and I write everything down. And when I'm done, and like I said, it can be on uh, whatever, uh, in your notebook, uh, just a strand, a, a you know, a piece of paper, whatever, write it all down, write your heart out, write all the negative things and everything like that, fold it up, take it outside, excuse me, light it on fire. If you have a fire pit or if you, um, you can have like a metal can, like save one of your small metal cans from like your fruit or your veg or whatever, put it in there, burn it and watch it, leave it burn. And once it's all burned and out into ashes, Take it and I blow it into the air and just say, and so it is. And just let it go. Or you have a saying that you make up for yourself, you know, um, like, you know, uh, 
tomorrow be a better day or you know, please help me, whatever you want to use. And I blow all that away just to blow that negativity away. And, um, I really got to get back to that lately because it's been a few months and, um, things have just been going to hell in a handbasket. So that's something else I do. Um, but that's, you know, that's personal preference for you and what you want. So I just want to kind of get the bulk of this wetness off and then I'm going to turn it over and we're going to do this. We have this. We have our this. I'm gonna make be a petri pa petri. I'm gonna be a petri chef. I'm gonna become a pastry chef for a minute. Which I've never done this before in my life like this, squeezing. I'm gonna we're gonna see how thick this is. Ugh, all the stuff comes out. I'm going to take the corner, just give it a little bloop, cut off. Going to squirt it through. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a nice consistency there. But you'll see what we're going to do. And I'm not going to do the whole letters because it will take forever on the video for me to smear it out. Look how nice that is. Huh. I'm going to have to tape up that hole in the top now. I think that is a nice consistency. Might not have to snow it out. Not snow it out. What, what, what was I going to do to it? Dry it out. I don't know what the heck I got going on in my head today. All right. So we have that on there. Let's bring it down. Bring it down now. Turn the lights down. Okay. And I'm just going to take my crappy old card that I use for everything. And I'm going to scrape it in. Scrape it, baby. Scrape it. Nice scrapage. Remember when you're doing this kind of thing with anything, if you're using molding paste or anything, let's just give it a little bit more right here. Come on, baby. Be good to mama. Ooh, that's really good there for me. And here we go. It helps when you sing like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrape off that extra. Little seven. Remember, if you can't get it in the one way, <laughs> try a different position. Scrape it that way. And I only have a little bit left on my card, which I'll clean off, and that's no big deal. And then we shall lift it up. Yep, we shall. We shall. And there we go. So, I have to clean that off. This is actually thick. I don't know if you can see how thick this is. Look at that. I love that for texture paste. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like I got magnets on there. This is delish. Oh my gosh. Loving it. Okay, so this is going to sit and dry. And then probably tomorrow I'll make a video and we will work on this page with this deliciousness. Look how thick. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Now can you see? Now can you see? Holy poop. Okay. Holy poop, Batman. Now let me just take the rest that's on here. And we'll use it as if we're going to use it as molding paste. And I'm just going to kind of squish it around. Get it all off my card. Then I'll just do some lines in there. As if we were doing some mold and paste. Schnikes. I don't even know what that word means. How fun. How fun. How fun. Okay. So, there we go. How exciting is this? I'm, I swear to God. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, here's our experiment. Let me... Move the camera. 
it's going to probably fall on me because I have it all rigged up today. Look at, okay, here's our um, Delight Air Dry Clay. And I just made it into a block that was hard and unusable and was getting ready to throw away. And I just reconstituted it. And I'm thrilled to death. I will have to package it into another plastic bag so it doesn't go bad. And I'm um, going to let this dry. Next video, you know, once this is dry, probably tomorrow, we'll come in, we'll play with this, we'll see what we get. And then I will, which I'm not going to do today because I have the color all over my hands and all, we will see the consistency. I don't even think I'm going to let air get to it. Um, then we'll see what the consistency of this is like and what we can do with this. Because if nothing else, we have modeling paste. How fantastic. So imagine if this works as good as I think it's going to work. And I think it's going to work good. You can see that um, because my card had color on it, that I had scraped from something else. Obviously it was a watercolor of some sort and it kind of got mixed in with the color. So imagine if we put this into a small dollar store uh, Ziploc bag, some of this and mix it with a little bit of uh, acrylic paint or watercolor paint or food coloring or what have you, we can make our own color of modeling paste. So interesting. I love saving things and not having to throw them away. And I think we might have just done it. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so very much. Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I truly, truly mean that. Um, just keep creating. Keep creating. I am almost at 900. I'm about to pee myself. I can't believe it. Check out my knittingandthings.com. Um, where I'm going to, where I do a lot of posting and like I said, my techniques of the day, you know, for Tuesdays and tips and all kinds of fun stuff. And I hope you all have a great creative day and I will see you again soon. Bye.